Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we were able to prove our worth to the people of Usnatha by showing them our martial prowess. We also learnt a fair bit about Usnatha and a smattering of things about Drow society in general. Now it's time to go and partake of the second arena in the tavern. And the person who runs it is right over here. Sondal. We're going to have yes. Terry partake, and oh, later right. on, Edwin is going to be able to show off what he can do. But for now, hmm. it's going to be all about yeah. Terry. Let's say hi. To walk apart from House and Queens, to walk into the green. Welcome. I trust that you have come to my dueling arena because you are tired of seeing pitiful monsters put to death in the name of sport. A well-respected female such as yourself will know that the only opponent worthy of the drow is another drow. I provide the opportunity. The current match is just beginning. It will be an inspiring display of skill on the part of our most illustrious competitor. Yes, show me this duel. Perhaps I'll take my chances with the winner. Excellent. I will signal the combatants and have them commence their efforts. It will be a grand show. If I might have everyone's attention, if I may, with the permissions of our most distinguished females and the interest of our most hardy males, might I draw your attention to the pit at the fore? The pride of our males of the first house, Master of Blades, Lasona, is here to prove his ability to us all. He has accepted an unusual challenge. Four members of the Male Fighter Society have answered a slanderous comment with demands for blood. Lasona has shown his contempt by facing them all at once. Watch now, as all concerned will place their lives in the pit and their fates in their blades. As always, the victor may lay claim to all of the vanquished's equipment. And there he is! There is Lasona! Drow! 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 And Drow! If you're wondering if the unnamed Drow have any chance of victory, the answer is no, because Lasona is nasty. Look at Lasona just dispatch them, one after another, and notice that there is a fire effect that is going off every time he lands a hit. Maybe his weapon has some kind of fire ability. We'll wait patiently, and watch with some interest. Lasona seems somebody, uh, seems like somebody worthy of our martial prowess. Do not question the matron mothers. I am victorious. They were worms, as I said. Their house is weak, their blades dull and listless. What is the number one way to get a drow angry at you? Why, do what the uh, person running the pit suggested. Insult them. You were obviously their superior in both age and skill. Do you gloat over children? What? Who slanders me? Step into the pit if you think yourself better than I! I believe there has been a challenge! Do you accept? I will allow time to prepare if need be. We would want both sides at their best. Be forewarned that this will be a one-on-one -on -one affair. I will allow no more lopsided slaughters. I, a Veldron, am ready. Take me to the dueling pit. As you wish! Attention! We are about to have another challenge immediately! Veldron will now enter the arena and face Lasona. We are moved in, and combat is upon us! And if we want to, we could pick up all these long swords and chain mails, but I don't want to. We just want to fight Lasona. Well, the sonar is going to hit quite hard, but we hit a lot harder. Plus, we have a very impressive armor class. Remember when I said the sonar would hit hard? The sonar has not yet hit. Do not question the patron mothers. The sonar, in fact, will not hit. That was a curb stomp. Hold. I. I yield. You have proven the better combatant this day. I. I yield the victory. My sword is yours. I no longer deserve it. Glory for the Dark Mother! Hmm, I do not recognize you. For such a strong female to come out of nowhere is unusual. I thank you. I take great pride in my ability. I can see that. 
you will have ample opportunity to test it as well. Lasona was my favorite male, and his honor is of value to the first house. Speak with Sondal when you are ready to face me. You have a debt of honor to pay. And off she goes. We've picked another fight by winning that fight. Oh well, what can you do? What we can do is identify this sword. It is the Blade of Searing plus three. The benefits inherent in this sword are plain to see. It is exceptionally accurate and a lick of flame follows every blow, searing the target in addition to the normal damage received. It is an efficient troll killer, though it has not yet been heralded as such in Song or Legend. The important thing about this plus three sword is that it is plus three, and thus can bypass the uh, damage reduction of many more dangerous enemies. It also has plus one fire damage. Not bad, but certainly not something we're going to be using, so into the bag you go. Since we didn't take a single hit in the Lasonar fight, we are immediately ready for the next one. You have been challenged to fight Lasonar's better. She has the right to call for such an action. Then I will answer that challenge. You may again choose who shall answer the challenge. Are you ready to do so now? Yes, Veldron stands ready. Veldron now enters the pit to face Shalinthra. Attention all! Now she is not a fighter. She is a cleric. And will immediately start casting uh, cleric spells. But unfortunately for her, none of them are going to protect her from getting hit with a sword. Even that blade barrier isn't going to be very effective. We just need to hit a few more times, and there we go. Combat over. The vast supremacy for a male lies either in the bedchamber or the nukes of the majors. You have done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories from a new face. I thank you. Are there any more challenges? If you are willing, I have a mage that wishes to further his status in the pit. If you have a mage of your own, you may face him. I have no majors willing to take up that challenge. Uh, excuse me, I will be taking up the challenge, I just need to go and talk to him myself, clearly. Then we have nothing further to say about the matter. Return when you are ready. We have plenty more to say about yes, this matter. Yes, I, I will see. talk to you now. To walk apart from house and queen are there any the more challenges? Edwin stands ready to face him. Edwin, into the pit. Attention all! A wizard's duel is next! Mage versus mage! Now, we're gonna discover something amusing oh, about this man. pit, and that is that all of these uh, dropped items are still here, which means that spells we cast are going to assist, including Simulacrum. So we're going to cast Simulacrum first, and have two Edwins! Yes. This Edwin is a lot weaker. You can see that it, this Edwin doesn't have as many spells, but those spells are going to be useful. Busy, okay, now we're busy. going to uh, wait for that Dispel Magic to go off, and get rid of most I'm of this uh, Drow's spells that are protecting them. Then I think we'll use a Melf's Acid Arrow, <laughs> double check that you're using Magic what Missile. We're not going to be using Magic Missile against the Mind Flayers. This shouldn't be too tricky yes. at all. We'll have another magic missile here. I got rid of all of the uh, mirror images. Another magic missile. And we can use your magic missiles as much as we like, because the simulacrum is only going to last for so long. Every single time we deal a little bit of damage, that will disrupt that wizard's spell casting. And this is why Simulacrum is so good, just for a little bit more uh, spell damage. Also, this summoned enemy is also going to persist, which is a little annoying, but what can you do? We could attack the uh, summoned enemy, but to be honest, I don't think we need to worry about that summoned foe. More spells? Not really going to do very much, I'm afraid. And we could have you, we could actually use the Golem Manual. Let's use the golem manual, shall we? Let us summon a golem to deal with uh, everything. There's the golem. And that is a flesh golem that is going to have no problem with taking care of uh, that wizard. And we'll keep attacking even when we leave. 
But there's another wizard to fight. You've done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories from a new face. Are there any more challenges for me? There is another mage that would like to try their skill against you. It is your decision whether to accept. I will accept the challenge. Not that it will be much of a challenge. The Medjool shall commence immediately. Attention all! Edwin is about to enter a wizard's duel. Eyes to the pit! Now you can hear that combat going on because... Not only is the Flesh Golem still here, but... The Simulacrum is still yes. here. And we're going to be using a spell I haven't really used much yet to uh, deal with this drow, and that is Melf's Miniature Meteors. We also have a uh, magic missile left. Now I have Miniature Meteors, which will decimate this drow. They do a lot of damage very quickly. Goodbye, drow. There's one more wizard, though. Does anyone else wish to challenge me? People are beginning to speak of the skills your group displays in magic. Of course, that means others wish to challenge you. Do you have a mage ready to accept? Of course, I am ready. Edwin to the pit! A duel of wizards will now commence! Hello! I cheated a little. I hope you don't mind. I have uh, a few extra foes here for you to take on. A flesh golem. A simulacrum that's just going to attack you in melee, and miniature meteors that I already have prepared. Have at thee! This is not even fair. But why would Edwin fight fair? I think we're done here. Is there anyone left that wishes to challenge me? There are no other opponents. You have become quite the imposing figure. You are destined for good things if your matron takes notice. And I'm sure people have already taken notice. Well done, Edwin. Have you, you were victorious. Now, let's have a look at... Uh, we can actually select the various weapons by right-clicking. I thought we could select the uh, miniature meteors there, but no, we can't. We'll have to wait for that spell to expire for us to equip the staff again. For now, let's talk to the bartender. To walk apart from house and queen is to walk into the grave. Is there something in particular you need, female? A mug of black mead, perhaps? Or have you found a partner to retire to the lust chambers with? Lust chambers? Do not speak insipidly, fool. This is a place for drow recreation, as any other is. Drow who find each other arousing may retire to the chambers for oiled massages or whatever else they please. Failing that, there are the pits for fighting and slavic explosion runes, for those whose stomachs are not too weak and pale. There are also many drow telling tales and stories here, a custom of the city. But I am sure you do not need me to guide you about. You have eyes, as I can well see. Now, is there something else you need? Could I ask you some questions? No, you may not. I am not here to answer questions, I am here to serve you. You have questions? Find the storytellers. Perhaps they can humor you, female. Let me see your services, then. As you say, beds and spirits, that's what I'm here for. And that's pretty much all this uh, tavern offers. In fact, only royal rooms are available. And there is that mead. We could actually have a, a drink, why not? There are a few soldiers on the streets. The Council of Matrons ordered each house to contribute the majority of their fighters and majors towards a secret operation. Interesting bit of trivia we learned there! Mm. And with that, we've pretty much done all that we can do here, so let's leave that dagger. Mm -hmm. We're not really going to ever remember to sell it. Flesh Golem has been unsummoned. You must Let us now go and do course. what we were tasked to do, which is go to... Very the well. main tunnels and ambush those mind flayers. Are you still equipped yes, with... Uh, yes, Mac. yes you are. What I they might now? actually be useful at yeah. some point, so it's probably a good thing we still have them. Let us save, because who knows what could go wrong here. I imagine lots of things are going to go wrong. What would you like? Let's go. We also need to make sure the party arrives there roughly together, because if they don't... Nothing. We're going to trigger that encounter with only Corgan and Terry there. And we want at least two Corgans there. And Terry. And everyone else, of course. 
Now, we want to go over the bridge, I think. So let's go to here and see if, uh... Ooh! Uh-oh! Here's an adventuring party! Here is Boz, and Skeleton, and War Dog. Mm. This is something that I forgot about. Let's quickly go and deal with this. We also have Chandrilla, and Simja, and Pitch. We need to very quickly deal with this encounter. Now, you're going to deal with the Ogre? We actually need to deal with the Wizard first. Fortunately, I don't think any of the uh, enemies here are going to be too tricky for us. Ooh! And there is Damien, the rogue that sneakily sneaks yes. behind you for much sneaking. It's actually a good opportunity to use the uh, Melv's miniature meteor, so let us do that. And you're just going to fight here. Miniature meteors will do well to disrupt that uh, spellcasting, and that is the end of uh, the end of you. We will have you uh, attack. There we go, the skeleton here. Slay my attacker, eh? I don't think that's going to happen. Oh no! We've been debuffed, everyone! Whatever will we do? The answer is we are going to uh, actually have you just attack the uh, wizard here. That's a spell that's not really going to do very much. We do have a halberd here that might be nice. Now, who else do we have left to fight? You've taken actually quite a few hits, so we'll have you... Uh, you off a potion, and you can keep firing sling bullets. You might as well actually just uh, attack at range there. The reason why this party is uh, attacking us, by the way, is because they think we are drow right now. We certainly look like drow, so their first presumption is they're drow, let's kill them. Unfortunately for them, they do not know who they're up against. We still have Pitch, we still have uh, Nashtar. Nashtar is the next to fall. Just then! Oh, that was a nasty hit. Slay my attacker? There's really not many more people who can do that, I'm afraid. Pretty much everyone is... Uh, oh, you've been mazed. Well, you'll be back later, I'm sure. Actually, I want you to go and uh, attack the goblin. That's the end of the cleric. The goblin's the only person left. I'm sorry. You picked the wrong opponent here, didn't you? You're gonna keep punching, and that's the end of I'm you. Busy, okay, I'm busy. Let's see what we got. We got uh, a halberd. There's a suit of full plate here. Some potions, normal plate mail, a scroll of grease. The grease scroll, really not that valuable, but hey! Potions, and full plate. More importantly, that axe. Dragon's Breath plus four. Halberd. It's actually a halberd, though it does look like an axe from here. You can see where I've made that error. Trying to profit from the strength of greater beings, many years ago the mage Ulion founded a dragon-worshipping cult under the moniker Son of Drago. Attracting followers with promises of conquest, he sought to secure his authority by enchanting this symbolic weapon for his bodyguard. Jaramor Bold. When the dragon's breath strikes an opponent, it releases the harsh flames of a red dragon, the poisonous vapour of the green dragon, the blue dragon's lightning bolt, a spray of a dragon's acid breath, and the white dragon's penetrating cold. Unfortunately, Ulium was the first to feel its effects, slain by the ambitious Jaramor, who sought to rule. There was no real power to be had without the mage, so the entire organisation soon collapsed on itself. Plus for weapon. It deals plus one cold damage, fire damage, electrical damage, acid damage, and poison damage. It is very much like the Flail of the Ages, but it's a halberd. And I think you're actually, uh, yes, you're actually pretty good with halberds. So we may have found a decent weapon for well. you if we need a plus four um, damage reduction by passing weapon. Not bad. Yeah, now we just need to wait for uh, Hexat to return. We also need to heal up, because we do not want to rest. We don't want to risk going over 12 hours here. Terry will slowly regenerate that health, that uh, Ring of Regeneration. Really, really useful. We need a little more healing. And then we'll... There we go. Exad is back. And then we'll spend uh, a little bit of a more powerful spell on Terry, just atop of her health. And when we come back, folks... 
we will go to the rendezvous point and rescue the matron mother's daughter. Of course. Fortunately, not much time has passed. We dealt with those duels extremely quickly, and this adventuring party. Sneaky rogue sneaking behind us. Unfortunately, sneakiness alone will not help you prevail against us. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.